Hello, and welcome to the Identifix Hotline Archive Tip of the Month. I'm Jim Newkirk, the Identifix European Team Leader, and a Master Certified Technician with over 32 years of diagnostic experience, and I'll be your host. At Identifix, we help technicians from across North America diagnose and repair tough problems on the vehicles that they encounter, and we collect and store those known good fixes in what we call a Hotline Archive. A hotline archive contains the information and tests you will need to diagnose problems you encounter on all types of vehicles and systems. Hotline archives can shortcut your diagnostic time and get you to a solution quickly and accurately. Hotline archives are available via the Direct Hit website at www.identifix.com. A demonstration of the website as well as answers to any questions you may have can be found there. Today's problem is the driver message center displays ETC engine failsafe mode and the engine is running rough. The mass airflow sensor input signal looks to be okay and suspected vacuum leaks were addressed. Self-test of the powertrain control module resulted in the following codes P2112, P2110, P2107, P2105, and P2104 on a 2004 Lincoln LS 3.9 liter VIN A engine. Let's take a look at the Hotline Archive addressing this issue. The Hotline Archive contains all the information you will need to diagnose and repair the vehicle in one easy to use document. We start with the vehicle description and mileage and a short description of the customer concern. Let's walk through the actual tests needed to diagnose this problem. Step 1. Access Mode 6 through the scan tool and test identification or TID number 53 to inspect each component identification CID or cylinder for an elevated misfire count suggesting a failure of the coil on plug or COP unit on that cylinder. Step 2. If all of the CIDs show a measured value of zero, check the alternator output pattern on a lab scope to determine if the alternator may have a failing diode. Step 3. Inspect all battery cable connections, body ground, and power connections at the fuse boxes. Service any questionable connection as needed. Step 4. Inspect the condition of the air filter element to verify it properly fits into the air cleaner box and that the filter is not squished or contaminated. Now we can proceed to the potential causes of this problem, and in this case, the confirmed fix that solved it. The potential problems are coil-on plug units, battery cable connections, or a faulty alternator. In this case, the confirmed fix was replaced four of the coil-on plug units. We also have useful technical information. In this case, the repair information states at least one of the four coil-on plug units was failing. These four coil-on plugs had been replaced a year previous to this visit because of an underwater event. The same four coils were replaced again and the vehicle did not act up afterwards. We finish out the hotline archive with the information on the Identifix technician who took the call and produced the hotline archive, the call date, and finally comments by fellow technicians who have used the hotline archive to repair a vehicle they were working on. In this case, we find that four of the coil-on plug units are misfiring and therefore faulty. Replacing the four faulty coil-on plug units fixed our problem. It's easy to see that with the real-world tests, information, and confirmed fixes contained in hotline archives at your fingertips, you'll diagnose more cars in less time, and that's a good thing. Watch for more hotline archive fixes, and thanks for spending some time with me. Don't forget to visit us at www.identifix.com.